everyday items and activities are listed as proof that you are sympathizing with shadowy boogeymen of terror. on terrorists and their allies and the terrorist screening center stands ready to help you before TSC was created in December 2003 the cop on the street had no way of knowing if someone he'd stopped was associated with terrorism but now TSC consolidates the terrorist lists of many agencies and you connect to them automatically through NCIC whenever you run an NCIC name checked you connect with TSC and running any name that's on our watch list will automatically give you a hit and some specific instructions on how to handle that person. What you should do ranges from clap them in irons to let them walk. Category one is for the baddest of the bad. This is someone you should arrest immediately, just like you handle any other warrant. Then call TSC. Odds are you won't see any of these guys. Category two, you should call TSC right away, and you may be asked to detain them for a reasonable time. You probably won't see any of these people either. Category 3. If you get a hit, it'll most likely be a Category 3. These are people that may have ties to terrorism, but don't know that we know. And we want to keep it that way. This officer has just stopped this driver for driving 55 in a 40 mile an hour zone. He ran the car's plate before approaching, then got the driver's license and car registration. When he ran him through NCIC, the driver's name gave a category three hit from TSC saying he might be connected to terrorism. So how does our officer handle the news? The way you should. Watch. Capital of the Stafford County Sheriff's Office. Is this the terrorist screening center? Yeah, I just made a traffic stop and the driver's name gave a Category 3 hit through NCIC. I was advised to call you. And that's the name of that song. Call TSC. The screeners there can help you know for sure if the guy you stopped is really the guy on the list. And even if he's an exact match, he may not be a terrorist. Some of the people we're interested in are associates or supporters. Under investigation because they're affiliated with terrorism. Since this is a Category 3 hit, the officer should collect information on both these people, but not let them know that law enforcement is interested in them for terrorism. So where are you coming from? Our home. Is that your wife? Uh, girlfriend. Ma'am, could I see some ID, please? Thank you. Shit. Next step, run the passenger's name. Go ahead, 217. Name check on Kovac, Kilo Oscar Victor, Alpha Charlie Kilo, Karen, common spelling, DOB 1983-0409. With category three or four hits, you won't make any arrest that you wouldn't have otherwise. 217, no wants, no warrants. 217, 10 -4. Since the results for the passenger were negative, the officer finishes his normal business for the traffic stop. Your signature is not an admission of guilt. It just certifies that your mailing address is correct. All the other instructions are on the form. Of course, he's going to keep his eyes open for anything interesting or unusual in the car. That would include cameras, binoculars, video equipment, GPS, maybe things like sleeping bags. With that, he's done. Now let's take a look at another call where you might meet someone on the list. The suspicious person call. See way down there? 
There's a woman taking photos of the dam. Someone called 911 and reported a suspicious person. Our officer took the call and is just arriving on the scene. Two seventeen. Two seventeen. I'm at the Smith Lake Dam. I have a white female in her twenties taking photos near the spillway. Ten four two seventeen. All of you know how to interview someone, so let's fast forward. We'll pick it up after he's heard her story and gotten her ID. Lima Alpha November Alpha Tango Alpha, first name Maria, middle initial A. DOB 1977 0713 1977 0713. As you guessed, she's going to be a Category 3 hit. And since it's very important that we don't let her know that we know, both the dispatcher and the officer need to make sure she doesn't hear the radio traffic. 217, is your radio secure? Stand by. If I could ask you to wait right here, please. Sure. What our young lady won't be able to hear is the dispatcher telling the officer that she may be associated with terrorism and that he should get information to make a positive match. Dispatch is also giving him the number to call for the terrorist screening center. Where'd you say you were taking those photo classes? At Stafford Community College. Did you get anybody's permission to shoot here? I didn't think I'd need anyone's permission just to take a couple of photographs. Please wait right here and don't take any more photographs. In the case of this young lady, she really is the person on the watch list. And TSC has asked him to get more info on her without letting her know that we're interested. Let's see how he handles it. Ma'am, this is government property and I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Why? I'm not hurting anything. The park manager doesn't want anyone down here and uh, I need you to leave with me. Well, your officer, I didn't think this would be such a big deal just taking some photos. You are the nation's front line in the fight against terrorism. If a terrorist gets into our country, what law enforcement officer is most likely to run into him first? You are. You get up close and personal with more people in this country than anyone else. Through your eyes, counterterrorism agencies of America can see and detect terrorist threats long before a deadly act unfolds.